When connecting your hard drives, it's really simple. You need to memorize where the connector is. Always have the electronic side of your hard drive facing the label, which the connector matches up here. Simply insert the drive, drop it in, and you'll feel it click into place. Uh, it's fairly sturdy like that. If you get it into a position where it's not quite in there, you'll see it wiggles around a lot. You just simply give it a little nudge and it goes in. To remove the drive, you don't need to forcefully remove it. There's this handy little latch right here. You simply push the latch and the hard drive comes right out. The process is exactly the same for a 2.5 inch hard drive. You just simply insert it in and it clicks into place. Now on the left side here, you've got the eSOTA port. And this is the high speed port. If you're looking to get the data off of it quickly, you're gonna to wanna to use this. If you don't have this port, right here in the middle, you've got a USB 2.0, everybody's got those. All the way over here, you've got the simple DC power jack. This is what you're gonna to use to power both drives. Now right here in the middle, you've got your simple on off switch, turns the entire unit off when it's not in operation. And down here at the bottom, you have the full SOTA port. This is what you're gonna to use to connect your second hard drive to it. To clone a hard drive, it's a very simple and straightforward process. This is my old hard drive, it's a 500 gig. I reached its capacity, I need some more room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this hard drive in the dock. There we go. Now this is gonna be my new two terabyte hard drive. I'm gonna have plenty of room on here, but I wanna have all of my stuff copied over to it. And I really don't wanna mess with all of the normal problems you get with using commercial software to clone it. So you're gonna take your second cable here, you plug it in on the bottom, Plug it into your drive. Hold the button on the front down for five seconds. You'll see the light on the front begin to blink. And that's it, that's all you need to do. You don't even have to have it connected to your PC. Now let me show you what it comes with. First thing in the box you're gonna notice is this fairly strange looking cable. Now this is the cable. You're gonna plug into the back of the unit right here. Plugs in like so. And you plug this straight into your other hard drive. And that's how you connect up the second hard drive. There's no other cables or adapters necessary for that. And that's how you can access either both hard drives from the computer using either the USB or eSOTA port or the built-in cloning feature. The other cables that it supports is the power cable, the 12 volt, 4 amp, UL and FCC certified power supply, a SOTA to eSOTA bracket. You use this if your computer does not come with any eSOTA connectors on your computer. Uh, this turns one of your internal SOTA ports into an eSOTA port. An eSOTA cable in case you didn't already have one. The full user manual has all kinds of useful information in here. It also discusses the built-in uh, cloning feature and the included backup software. And it, it does include free simple backup software and a USB 2.0 This is, is going to be SSX-COPY. Go ahead and pick one up today.